after you get through the several rounds of interview with your luck favoring you that day you finally land with the last round where your dream job is just a few steps away and then you are asked the most dreadful question what is your expected salary what would your answer be no doubt that every one of us aims high and also wants to earn high so here are some useful tips for you to answer these questions first decide if you want to answer the question or not now there are two situations here if you have really no idea about this or you are not prepared with a number all you can say is as per the industry norm and just support it by adding that you are very much interested in that opportunity to learn and get incubated you can make them understand that salary is not your first priority though it is important for you the second situation on the other hand if you have done a good homework or research on the job role the salary range for such a role in the job market demand for that role in the market cost of living in the job location etc you will have a fair idea of a typical salary and you can speak on it now how do you portray the number which you have in your mind remember guys if you code a big number there is a every possibility to face a rejection and in case you code low you would miss the chance of earning a decent amount answering this question is tricky try to find out the compensation package for that position if it is a replacement or try to understand the level at which the company pays each employee and decide on a number it is highly recommended to give a salary range please make sure that your lower number is what you are comfortable with since the negotiation starts from there for example if you can say that my salary expectation is somewhere between 20000 to 25000 if your desired salary is 20000 in case the interviewer stresses on an exact figure you can choose the middle number of the range that you have quoted before so that you have the chance to win the offer with the number which you are comfortable with another important tip is that make sure you don't sound too commercial costly or selfish also keep in mind that you need to create an impression in front of the interviewer that salary is not only your concern in case the interviewer expresses that the number that you have quoted is very high you can say that you are open to negotiate and show your excitement to work with them well this is the best way to address this question today we are here to talk about types of interview as such there are n number of types in interviews but we made it easy for you by filtering the most important and frequently conducted six types of interview i will be telling you on how to recognize the type while you are in the interview and how to deal with them to start with let's have the first one stress interview now how to recognize it well such interviews has rapid fire questions criticizing candidates answers interpreting him or her repeatedly etc and mind that this is done purposely so don't panic or feel bad about it how are you going to deal with it the candidate who keeps himself or herself calm in a stressful situation is selected for the job the purpose of this interview is to find out how the candidate behave in a stressful situation that is whether the candidate gets angry or gets confused or gets frightened or gets nervous or remains cool these types of interviews are conducted mostly when your job profile demands it like that of a sales second type the group interview how to recognize it if you would have seen my video on group discussion this group interview will be clear to you but the only difference in group interview is that it will be four to five candidates and all of them are interviewed together now how are you going to deal with it have knowledge of the job profile you are applying along with some current news which comes handy nowadays impress others in the group by appreciating their views and ideas and add on your opinion on the same lines 
The purpose of this interview is to find out which candidate influences others, who clarifies issues, summarizes or speaks effectively, etc. A topic is given to the group and they are asked to discuss on it. The interviewer carefully watches the candidates to judge the behavior in the group situation. Moving on for the third type of interview. The third interview called is panel interview. Now how to recognize it? Panel means the selection committee that is appointed for interviewing the candidate. Hence, panel interview may include three or five members. They ask questions to the candidates on different aspects. The final decision will be taken by all members collectively. How are you going to deal with this? In this type of interview, candidate had to notice very small commonsensical behavior. For example, such interviews will have three to five chairs for the candidate to choose. He or she has to choose the middle chair always. Or the candidate might be asked tea, biscuits, which preferably should be avoided even if you are tempted to take one. The fourth type of interview is phone interview. In this technologically advanced era, most screening interviews are done by phone. But phone interviews will also be used for other reasons such as geographic obstacles, the applicant lives in another city or state. In case, phone interviews will be longer and more detailed one. Here are a few tips on how to deal with phone interviews. When you will be informed in advance about the date and time of your interview, make sure you are present in the place where you get proper network and no noise so that you could focus your attention. Sometimes the interviewer will just call you without a schedule. In that case, if you are busy in any way and not comfortable, tell them to schedule it later. Trust me, it will be a wise decision. Don't be disturbed by other calls ringing on your phone right when you are about to answer. Or if your phone rings during the question which you are unable to listen, please request the interviewer to repeat it. I understand that nowadays you do multitasking. But please avoid that during the phone interview. So, no eating, no surfing the web, no messaging because it is in your mind and the interviewer is smarter than you. The next type of interview is serial interviews. In a serial interview, you meet several people throughout the day, usually back to back. One person will interview you, then pass it to the next person and so on throughout the day. Serial interviews are physically and mentally tiring because they can often take the entire day. Each time you are passed onwards, your chances of being hired improves. In such interviews, try to understand what the particular interviewer is looking in for you and highlight your skills accordingly. Don't open up initially, at the same time express your work and all the participation that you have done at all levels. Serial interviews are typically used for senior level position, but there are exceptions. Going forward, the last type of interview is portfolio based interview. In the design, digital or communication industry, it is likely that you will be asked to take your portfolio along or show it online. Make sure all your work is up to date without too late or too much. Make sure that your images, if it in print, are big enough for the interviewer to see it properly. And always test your online portfolio on all internet browsers before turning it up. So for more videos, you can log on to www.freshersworld.com or you can click all the links below down. Thank you.